Hi there, Trisha and Drayson here, Miss Unstoppable, Unstoppable Warrior, helping you become unstoppable in your pursuit of unlocking your joy, your passion, some of those things that you might have lost along the way, those things that where you say, I'm not creative or I don't know, I don't do that anymore. I want to help you tap into that so that way you can find the joy that maybe you thought you lost forever. All right, so here's the funny thing. My hat? know why my hat wants to be crooked the only thing i can think of is because my ponytail's on the side so anyways we are going to get down to some business i got this really cool barn quilt that is going out to my club members and usually i surprise them with the design but i got too excited myself and i thought i would go on and you could watch me organically figure out what colors I want to go where so we are going to change the cameras and i am going to give you some tips to think about why do we want barn quilt all right let's get down to the nitty gritty shall we all right all right so the first thing um i'm different versus other people um it's not that I don't want you to do a barn quilt with all this taping, but literally uh, someone had messaged me the last 24 hours and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing painter's tape and it's taking me hours to do that. And so what I do is I help get it etched and it's on wood and then we can use pencils, we can use paint, we can use a whole bunch of things. And I just want to tell you in advance, all right, just so that way y'all don't pick on me and I get a bunch of messages. These are my fingers today, okay? They are not pretty pretty, I need a manicure. But as I say, we're gonna get down to nitty gritty. So I want you to study this with me because these are things that we might miss to the eye, okay? So we've got blank here and we've got blank here and then we've got blank here and blank here. So sometimes when we get busy, we think, oh, those areas could be a color and then these areas could be a color. But what's cool about these designs that I've put together for you is you can make it your own because literally like totally organically, I was going to paint this and this the same color. And now seeing the circle, I'm like, well, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to do two different colors. But this is a color that I have not used before, which I'm pretty excited about. It is Anita's metallic craft paint, but it is metallic turquoise. And I love metallic turquoise. I just love turquoise. So since I don't know if I'm going to make these areas all one color, what I'm going to do is so many people ask me, they go, do you start from the inside out? And often I don't because I go to the big area of where I feel like it's going to come to life and craft paint, it, it like dries really fast anyways. So I'm not too worried about that. I actually want to see how this piece is going to speak to me. What's cool is he's got little holes and actually this has a back to it. Yay. So I can put this in my, um, my garden if I want to or whatever I want to do. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and do these edges first. Okay. And I'm going to make this up a little higher so you guys can see it easier. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Here we go. All righty there. All righty there. I love this. Such a cool compass idea. Now, I do want to tell you what I'm going to do in the middle is I am going to put one of these appliques. I'm sending one of each one to my barn quilt ladies. I'm so excited. I am going to do something probably like that. So I'm going to change this one up. Like, is that not like made for this or what? I mean, seriously, y'all. I just love it. Okay. So let's try the metallic turquoise. I'm pretty curious how this is going to look. Mm. 
and I really like it. I can totally see going and getting more metallic paints. It's like sometimes you get addicted to things just like I get addicted to my gel pens and let me know if you want to link to the gel pens that are like my go-to because I just love them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start framing that so so I don't hit my eye here or my hand. I'm going to just go here. And message me. Let me know. Is it too dark for you there? Because I can turn on my studio lights. It was just really bright in here before, but I am in the woods, so it depends on how they sun decides to hit and painting this is actually easier for me right now on my shoulder I know y'all are probably getting really really tired of me talking about my shoulder so I'm learning more about the shoulder there is this little thing in the shoulder called the AC joint and they say it can get better but you know how it's supposed to get better? Uh, like sling it and rest it. And then I sit and physical therapy to exercise it. So, because it's caused by repetitive motion, like painting. <laughs> so it's probably because I paint and I draw like probably 70 hours a week, even with like my church worship and everything. I mean, I, mean, I write, I paint, I draw. I teach, I paint, I draw, repeat, you know, so anyways, but I just love being with y'all. All right. That is going to be pretty man. So I'm going to continue to go on the corners because I don't know what I'm going to do with this center part. Okay. But I tell you what, if you had to pull out a compass, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with doing that because there's a lot of barn quilters who, who work in straight plain pieces of wood like this and then do the ruler and then do the compass and they love it. Um, I'll just tell you, I love it for the history and the story but you're talking to a girl who had tutoring in school for geometry. I got a D in geometry. In fact, that D held me back from applying to Virginia Tech. I applied to Radford because I didn't have enough math credits because I was an artsy girl. I sang. I was a singer. I still am a singer. Um, and I loved English and writing and all of that and science. I, I actually was going to start college uh, in science for animal behavior. I still am a huge um, studier of psychology. And then I took my first marketing class in college and I started studying industrial organizational psychology. So I share that with you because I think I could potentially pull my hair out if I had to draw every single one of these from scratch. Um, I have software programs that help me pull things together and some graphing tools and things like that. And then I have the technology to print it on wood. This is an eight by eight size. But what I love is I have the ability to pr print it down to a coaster size. So if you want to serve it like as a coaster, you can. Um, and I can go all the way up to three feet by three feet. So kind of cool. So when you do a, a kit with me, um, that's the scoop on that. All right. So you're seeing the colors here. Um, if you are home from work, because I know I'm doing it at a crazy time. But my shoulder was feeling good, and I thought, if I wait till later in the evening, it might be flared up. So, I'm 
I want your opinion. Should I take the turquoise here? So like it's a total, a whole background and then that's a layer and that's a layer and that's a layer. Or we could treat a circle. So we could do a different color here. Okay, so my intuition, see, there's, don't worry about that. See, there's all little, as Bob Ross would say, happy accidents. Okay, so we'll be painting over that sucker. Um, I think for me, it feels like I want to bring the, the turquoise into that because I think what's going to happen is it's going to give it a 3D look. If you use it as a background, it looks like the sky to me. Beautiful. Yeah, Carol, that's exactly what I was thinking about was like, that would be cool to have like a sky and then, okay. So that's what I'll do. So I'm, let me go ahead and pull that in. How are you, by the way? It's good to, it's good to chat with you. I keep forgetting, where do you live? Do we live near each other or not? Or do you live in Georgia? I, I know I know this, but. Oh, anyways, I was ta talking to you all about my shoulder. Uh, the repetitive action, I think, has been from a lot of my pencil work. So this is actually a little bit less pressing on my my joints. So, Miss Carol, you're right. That's. Oh, that's going to be pretty. And then what we can do is focus on the compass part. Oh, my gosh. I have not taken a picture of it yet. Have you guys heard of the Moravian star that has 21 points to it? People ask me, do you have a Moravian star barn quilt? Like for Christmas, right? Guess what? I've got one next to my fireplace. It's it's almost done except I'm trying to figure out what I want some of the other points to be. It is so pretty. I can't wait to show it to you. I cannot wait. So this Thursday night, I am going to be uh, showing you new designs that are hitting the website. And if there's ever a design that you don't see on the website and you're like, Trisha, you did it. Where is it? I can answer you. Like this one might not hit up for a while because I like to give my Barn Quilt Club members the opportunity to have it first. So they're getting like they're they're getting like the sneak peek of um, what's in my head, you know, and we can have fun together. Plus, what happens is they paint it like sometimes they I'll give them, you know, my um, color swatch and stuff and then. They start painting different colors and they're like, look what I did. So, yeah, North Carolina close to South Carolina. That's what I thought. I thought you were down that way. Well, you know, you're more than welcome to come up here anytime. I was thinking on um, maybe Saturday of Mother's Day weekend, if my shoulder's feeling better, to have a barn quilt display out on our property on our three acres. And, um, so folks can see all the different designs, the large ones and some of my um, garden flags that I've painted. So um, I've had people, I had two of them last year and we had such a good time and it was really awesome. Actually, one of the times that I had it, I had an ice cream truck here. So we got to be outside and Folks walked down to the pond, saw my cottage where I paint, and then, you know, could look through all the, the kits and pick out, you know, the designs that they liked and kind of get my advice and stuff like that. So it was just a fun time. Kind of like a little old gathering, I guess. But I think what would be cool is if we did do it on Mother's Day weekend, my mom, even though she's 84, she's amazing. Y'all, I know y'all hear me talk about her all the time, but um, 
she can play like every instrument since she was five years old. She could not touch the foot pedals for the piano when she played for the Methodist church, but she played at five years old. And then when they were growing up, they were the Harmon sisters trio on the radio in the Princeton, West Virginia area. So my mom worked for the telephone company. She was the only woman in the telephone company building with all the guys. And on their lunch break, they would go down and play bluegrass, which was, I mean, and I remember coming home from school, not coming home. My middle school was across the street from her office. So I was taking a sip of drink there. And, um, but they would be down there on their 15 minute break and doing a bluegrass playing. So I just grew up around music my whole life, you know? I mean, seriously, my grandpa had me, you know, learning to play the spoons, just like Appalachia. So music is in my veins. So I love, I am so glad, Carol, I took this into the background. That is so pretty. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if it really has to be metallic turquoise. I really like the plain turquoise because I would be putting over um, like a Krylon gloss over top of this anyways. So I don't think using like this Anita's paint when it's metallic is more expensive than just using like the, just the straight turquoise. So in my opinion, I would just use the straight turquoise if you liked that color, unless, you know, you were bringing it indoors. And, and if you want, while you're watching this and you see this pattern, by the way, we got to name it too, but um, that could be all number one. I do want to, I think I do want to do an applique in the middle, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do something different there. Who knows what's going to come to life. All right. So I have got this cool um, color called Naples yellow and it's like this creamy butter. Um, I really like it. It's like one of my favorite colors um, when I do like landscape painting and things like that. I haven't done a palette knife work in front of y'all in a long time, have I? I need to do that. So I am going to try this Naples yellow with this turquoise. And I want to give it a 3D effect. So what I may do is alternate. I know you're hearing me think out loud. Maybe okay. I I'm gonna try the Naples yellow. Let's try the Naples yellow on the circle. So like it's an abstract feeling of the sun. What do you think? Let's try that. You never know until we try. And if we don't like it, we could paint over it. Change my brush. Get a little bit of a thicker brush there. This is a small flat brush. People ask me, how do I paint without with staining the lines? And a flat brush is just nice and simple because you can go right to the line. And just pull it straight down. What song is out there? I keep thinking about like the trip around the sun or I took a trip around the sun or I took a trip around the, not the world. What is, what, what saying is out there about the sun? Um, my goodness. My Trisha brain. Hello, come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. What you think? Okay. We'll just keep going. Let's see how it starts pulling together. As I always say in art, sometimes, all, if you only knew how many times I've painted something and in the very middle, I'll be like, I just need to start over. I messed up. I should. And then what I've learned is no, just go a little bit more, just go a little bit more. And then it ends up taking on a life of its own and it just somehow pulls together. Now, I'm not saying that every single piece is not, you know, has been perfect because, but I'm thinking specifically of like three different paintings, fine art paintings that I did that I thought I need to throw these away. They're, I've messed up and I pushed through it. So sometimes we throw out the idea before it even gets a chance. To take root. Boy, that's a lesson right there in life, isn't it? Sometimes we have to plant the seed and do the action. I am reading a book right now, if you want to write it down, by Mark Batterson, B-A-T-T-E-R-S-O-N. And the book is called All In. And I love all of his books. If you've ever heard of the book, The Circle Maker, he wrote The Circle Maker. But he inspired me so much this morning that I wrote for me about like, you know, um, I think this is relevant to at Easter. But where it says, take up the cross daily um, and follow me. I was telling my mom, I said, somewhere, even though I've heard that scripture, the word daily didn't really like stand out to me. And like, that's like the most important word in the sentence is daily. You know, what are my daily actions? What am I planting? What am, what's being grown. So how does that apply to art right now? Well, if I stopped at just one little quarter inch of this Naples yellow, how in the world would I really be able to conceptualize how it partners with this turquoise? Sometimes we just got to go a little further, go a little bit more. Go a little bit more all in. I was talking to my mom about something. And I said, you know, um, and it was it, it was really very specific to something. I said, I said, I think that in this particular situation, I won't go into detail, I said, but I was playing it safe. Kind of like, you know, I got one toe in over here. And then I got the other toe in over here. And I can work both of them and see what happens. And I'm like, that's not my purpose. My purpose is I need to be all in. I mean, my, my passion. Y'all, I don't know if on Facebook you see your memories, but the memory stuff that I wrote from like six years ago and five years ago is all about like what I'm teaching and doing with y'all now. And I'm like, wait, why would I stop short of going my full commitment to... I mean, it is hard, you know, like I have the barn quilt club and, you know, I don't have bukus of people in there right now. You know, I um, have the late rate lower and I'm doing the free shipping and I'm working really hard, but I have this vision. I just have like this vision. I mean, even more vision. I have this feeling of, and, and I don't mean to put off the guys. I mean, the guys can join this, you know, geometric stuff with me. But I just have this heart of women of all ages coming together and bonding. And, you know, I'm, that's what excites me about doing these things and probably gets my shoulders sore because I can't stop because I get on a mission. And I've got two women right now that are in the barn quilt club and they get a they get their quilt um, 
Bach, you know, block. And then the other one goes to their granddaughter. And I'm like, yes, that was exactly my heart is like for women to come together and mentor each other at different ages because there's so much wisdom that the young person can give us because they haven't lost some of their innocence and childlikeness that we need to remember to bring back. And then we have experience and stories and um, guidance and mentorship for those that are younger. And I believe that's what, I mean, that's really the whole purpose behind what I, what I do with y'all and why I come online is because I want us to come together and we can all say, Oh, I have a best friend or whatever, but you know, a lot of us don't. Um, I remember going through my divorce and telling my sister, I'm like, I just don't have the energy to have like a best friend in my life right now. Like I was that tapped out from my divorce, going through my divorce. It was so hard on me because I had miscarried and then had my divorce all in a, in, in the same year. Um, and I started a new career, not a new career. It was in the real estate industry, but um, a wonderful opportunity. But I was pouring myself into self-improvement, right? And I was just like, I'm tapped out, right? But probably the truth was, is I just didn't know how to find other like-minded women that maybe I didn't have to feel like I was putting on airs with. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, look at me. I came online a few minutes ago and my hat was crooked. <laughs> oh my gosh. 12 years ago, you would have never seen me go on camera without makeup. Oh, my goodness. But now I'm just. I think there's I bought a website address and it's not live. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You need to tell me if if I need to keep it or not. Because I need to renew it. And I named it authentic journaling and about just being able to, I guess, spill your thoughts or guts um, out and just being authentic, not having to say what you think you're supposed to say, but just get it out there. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. That's very peaceful too. I, I like have chills when I'm looking at this. It just feels, um, there's the cliche it as well with my soul, but I just, it just feels like, you know, the other one I did um, where I said um, sunshine day. If you look it up on go find your happy, that was very bright and I love it. I love sunshine day. This feels different, even though it's in the same family of like blues and, but it's different tones. Okay. So now what we want to do is we, I want to have some, um, differentiation of color. So usually when I'm working on a canvas like this, okay, I will take the compass and I will alternate colors. Now what's interesting is in the Moravian star, I didn't do that. I actually put them together, but in this particular thing, what we'd want to do is do alternating colors. But if I did a a very similar like light color blue, it would get lost in this background. So we're going to want to do a very dominant color here. Um, so I don't know if orange or a wine color. I mean, we could do like just using one of my little dried up. We could do a red, but I don't know if that's too harsh. We could do a navy. Definitely, I think a navy should be in there somewhere. I 
like navy maybe as this background so that way it complements the sky. See, real and unplugged. Probably going too slow for you because I'm trying to figure out the colors. Blue. Okay, so when all else fails, here's what I do. Let's go <laughs> to Google. I'm going to show you what I do like on Pinterest and Google so you can really know like how I work it with, with interior design. Okay. Color palette for turquoise and Naples yellow. Let's see. Showing what? pictures that match. Showing pictures that match. Okie dokie, artichokey. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that with that right there is olive green. So we've got like a, a green blue, an, um, a gray green, an olive green, this yellow, and that turquoise. Let's see what else we got here. See if you can see that. That's more, I don't like that one as much. We could go more pinky. I don't like that one as much. I think this one's the one, girlfriends. All right, now hold on just a second. Don't leave because I'm going to pick out. We're going to, I'm going to go pick out the olive green and we're going to try that. And a like a grayish hint of a green. So let's see what I've, and if y'all only knew how many colors I got, it is like absolutely crazy insane. But I've got a really good olive green that we're gonna try. Actually, a desert sand or an olive or an artichoke green. So we'll try. I'm going to try either one of those, and we'll just see what it feels like, okay? And then a – I may have to mix a color on one of these. So – we may have a little fun doing something here. Okay. Wow, that's, these are pretty. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I've got in my hands desert sand and dew green. I bet the desert sand will get lost. Maybe not, but let's try this dew green. Oh, I like that one. Ooh. Okay, we got to do that one because, again, like we're doing the sky and then like that's the sun. And then this can be like the abstract of growth of color, like a leaf color. So let's just do that. And let's just see how it feels. Again, we can always color over it. But hopefully showing you that gives you an idea of how you can play with some swatches of color. I need to lock myself up in my cottage and put all my pages together on Pinterest and stuff. But I owned a technology company for 15 years. And before that, I was a national trainer and stuff for Realtor.com, a technology company. So whenever I'm painting and stuff, I'm like, do I have to do the technology right now? Because it's kind of just fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make a note of this. That is do green.
And I know some of y'all might jump off to eat dinner, take care of your kids, whatever. I'll keep this up for a little while as a replay. And then I'll probably delete it so it goes into the teaching archives for my club members. But I think the best way to show you what Barn Quilt Club is like is to show you live the things that we do together. It's kind of like trying to hire a massage therapist, but you have no idea if they're any good and you're kind of flying blind. <laughs> That's how you might feel about joining Bar Quilt Club. You're, you might say, well, I don't know. Am I going to like Trisha's teaching? Is she going to, you know, is it going to give me a, some happy moments? It's going to help me fill up my joy cup. So speaking of massages, that's what I'm getting tomorrow afternoon to try to help the tendon and the bursa underneath my shoulder joint so we can kind of work out that inflammation. I forgot how much ice is my friend. When I put the ice pack on, I'm like, oh, it feels so good. And last night, Kurt bought me a ice pack that I can actually, while I'm painting with you guys, I can wrap it around my shoulder and paint with y'all. So that's awesome. What's funny is I'm loving all these colors. You know what is kind of driving me a little nuts? The metallic of the turquoise. I am going to most likely go back and paint dark turquoise, but get rid of the metallic shine. It's just not speaking to me. But that's probably just me being, you know, I don't know, perfectionist or something. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try and mix this rainy day gray with this dew green and see what kind of gray green I might be able to get that's just enough of a different shade that complements it. Because when you do, when you put two shades like that together, it, it basically gives it depth. Okay. And so... when this becomes a kit it very well may be that you get a custom plastic container for a custom color that i make you okay or who knows i may find the right color but right now we're in the play mode Boy, that sure is so calm. Serenity. We already have tranquility. Peaceful directions. Oh, you know why? Okay. I know, I know you guys are watching the thing, but I have to show you what. Let me see if I have it. Okay, so my book, all in that I'm that not my book, Mark Batterson's book. Look what I wrote today about direction. I was thinking about curriculum teaching for um, like your purpose for your life and about God's purpose. Keep my focus on him. Allow him to lead my spirit. Act on what he reveals. Then thank him for what he shows. And then ask him what's next. And then reaffirm to him that you're all in. So I share that because like sometimes we want to take charge and and play the creator and say, okay, God, you know what? I'm in charge, not you. And we need to be at peace that things, when we're, when we've got ourselves going in the right direction, that the peaceful resolution will come. Um, it's the peaceful trust. So green.
So, I mean, a lot of my painting is literally processing. Like, instead of writing, I'm kind of working things out in my mind. That's what really art journaling is, is, is working things or writing things out or creating things that represent what's possibly logically in your head, what's emotionally in your head, what you're figuring out. That's why I really like art journaling stuff because it's just really therapeutic. I don't know about you, but you know, like when we have our phones, our cell phones, and the GPS is working, and we're like, okay, we need to go somewhere, but it's telling you where to turn. You're kind of like at peace driving, right? It's not like you're stressed out going, okay, and boy, am I telling my age. Do you remember when we used to have to print out on our computer like MapQuest and stuff? Oh, my gosh, right? And we had to read the directions while we were driving. And then we got the, the Garmin GPSs, and then it spoke to you and so forth. But the thing is, is when you know the directions are right and they're not going to lead you down a wild goose chase, you become more peaceful while you're driving. And that's what's coming to me is peaceful directions or the peaceful direction. I don't know. You'll have to tell me what you think. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I have this leftover green, so instead of wasting it, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some of this dark green. Now, it might turn out to be muddy. It might not It might not work, right? But let's go ahead and just mix these two colors together. Let's see if it's dark enough for my liking. If not, I might put a little bit of, which sounds weird, but like a navy blue I might mix in with it. Actually, that's a really pretty color. But I'm just wondering if it's going to give enough vibrancy for it to pop off I was going to say pop off the page, pop off the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a little either. I want to go vibrant. So I'm going to mix in this dark blue. Let's just see what happens. You didn't know it was like cooking, did you? <laughs> Sometimes that's what we got to do. Sometimes we don't have grandma's recipe and we got to just wing it, girlfriends. Oh, yeah. So this is not a nice mix between because it's in that family of turquoise. But it's got some more vibrancy. So let's try that. See what happens. See if I like it. Well, you know what? I, as I said, we can't stop just because we did one little thing. We have to keep going to see how the, the picture is going to reveal itself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go down these and see how they feel. And I actually might go back over like the lines and do white like I've done in the stained glass series. I just haven't decided yet. But that's what totally gets me addicted is because there's so many different things that you can do. So like I can paint this side, this design, right? 
and then I can flip this baby over and I can paint in a whole different. And then when I hang it as a barn quilt, like as a barn, as a, can I not talk, garden flag, it can be seen two sided. Or if I want to hang it with farmhouse beads and have this for summer and then have fall colors on the back, I can have this go for a long period, you know, can be displayed for a long period of time by having the front and back. Actually, not um, starting in May, the Barn Quilt Club members, every design is going to be front and back. So they get actually two designs to work with each month to play with on the same piece of wood. And then I'm so excited. I cannot tell you because I have to keep it on the hush hush that I've been working on geometric pattern animals. So you have to tell me what's your favorite animals because I think you are going to come out of your chair when you see what I've been working on. And then you'll say, Trisha, no wonder your shoulder's sore. I'm so excited. The reason I can't talk about it too much is because it's not just going to be exposed on wood. We're going to actually be doing something published that you're going to love for the summer. So that way when you're sitting outside, you want to sit on the hammock or whatever, you're going to be able to take your book. Ah, okay, I'm going to be quiet. Can't tell you anymore. Too exciting. It was something that in my heart I wanted to do last year, and I just did not have the bandwidth to do it. So over the winter time and COVID and, you know, when I was sick with my, my pneumonia and stuff, I literally would lay in bed and work on it. So that's why I'm like a little kid. I'm really excited to show you. But as you're listening, I want you have to tell me in the chat, please, please. I'm begging you. What animal would you like to see in a barn quilt? Tell me, please. This is your time. Because if I know, then maybe I could draw it. Like, is it a horse? Is it a dolphin? Is it a flamingo? Is it a hummingbird? I'm dropping hints. Is it a dragonfly? I want to know if you could have an animal inside of a barn quilt pattern, what would you want? I am telling you, this should end up in a spa. These colors are so calming. Almost want to name it just in all the directions in life that I'm at peace. Oh my gosh. Trip around the sun, Jimmy Buffett. That's it. Oh, of course I knew that. I mean, come on. I've only known like every single Jimmy Buffett song practically in life, but yes, Trip Around the Sun. That was, oh, that was his album. That was his album name, The Trip. I knew it was that. But um, I love writing stories with barn quilts. So that way on the, um, in the description, you can print it out if you're gifting it to somebody or you can print it out and have it tape to the back so it means something to you and what is for me in all the directions that life can take you you can be at peace it just feels so peaceful I'm like it's like oh I want to meditate <laughs> it just feels it feels wonderful and who knows, maybe it's because I had my, my eyes in Proverbs all day because I'm working on a Proverbs coloring book right now. And I'm thinking of doing like these coloring pages and then having journal prompts in it. I'm not sure. Love your feedback on that. Because what happened is as soon as I read a proverb, then I wanted to break it down. I was like, huh, if I were doing... If that 
says that, I wonder what I could do differently. So maybe that's why I feel more at peace today is because that's what I did. I got up this morning and I went back to studying Proverbs because I'm literally going chapter by chapter by chapter and pulling out scriptures that speak to my heart spiritually for you that may not be famous you know everybody chooses the same seems like the same verses over and over and over again i'm hand selecting them and then i'm going to create designs around um those quotes Man, I need to write that down. I love this color. So that was do green with dark blue with rainy day. Cool. I'm going to have to get one of my um, Dollar Tree plastic containers. Oh, you know what? I was trying to think of what color that I needed to put in the Moravian Star. It's been sitting in front of my fireplace. And I really, I think I'm going to take this color up to the main house and try it in the Moravian Star. Okay, so. This is really peaceful. And at the same time, do we want these colors here? Sorry, that light's coming in. Here's the sunset coming in. Um some brighter colors let's go back over here to that swatch and let's see what that swatch said i think it was a navy yeah so it was like that so why don't we pull out i think that's too royal i don't like that that's michael's craft smart dark blue i mean it's a nice color but it's the Anita's navy blue is just a beautiful blue. It is like, seriously, it's it's a my go-to. Like every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I pretty much clear out the navy blue. Now they have the big ones too, and um, just really good price too. So, all right. I hope I don't make a mistake. What do I do? I coach you guys saying, hey, if you make a mistake, you can paint over it. So I need to just paint this baby and let's just see what happens. All right. So this is. Okay. So you heard me being quiet because I'm like, should I put the tur a little bit of the turquoise in with that? Hold on just a second. I want to just mix something real quick. Hmm. I think we just say straight navy blue. Let's just do straight navy blue and we'll just let our heart lead us to what is going to be on the other side. So that's bleeding a little bit. It's because I did not dry off my brush enough. So don't do it, Trisha. <laughs> See how it's all wet there? kind of icky. I should have had my brush more dry. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit here. So blue, blank, blue. Okay. So let's just do this right here. I'm looking forward to seeing how this feels against, but we won't know until we do a couple of these areas. By the way, I do teach how to draw your own barn quilt on a graph. So don't think that, you, you know, that I don't know how to help you do that. Um, I brought down a plain piece of wood that was like six inches by six inches. And I know how to section it off with like ruler and section off and make it a grid and where you can draw your own pattern. 
I actually have a barnacle book coming out. That's pretty. Okay. And it still feels like the sun. I mean, the, the, um, the sky in the background without compromising that. So I love that. I'm still using the flat brush. This is a number two flat brush. I don't have a lot of these. Usually what I send you is like a number six or a number eight flat brush. Um, because you're getting the 12 inch sizes or the 24 inch sizes. These cool eight by eight ones. Um, is what we use in the barn quilt club and what's been really awesome is just the diversity of what we can do with them we can have them as trivets we can have them as hangings and like bedrooms and bathrooms because they don't take up you know tons of room but actually what was inspired by the eight by eights was my friend linda yenshaw who's in barn quilt club and she's also in happy tribe and she was like you know what trisha when I, I could put all the eight by eights together and I could make my own crazy quilt. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Um, and she's like, and I could showcase them on the wall as a whole like total piece of work of art. I was like, wow, that's, that's, that's an awesome idea. So you guys inspire me, that's for sure. Let me know if you comment on replay. So that way it gives me an idea of how many of you guys watch on the replay versus live. And I do want to hear if you could have an animal in a barn quilt pattern. Do you like that idea? And what animal would you want? Doesn't guarantee that I can do them all, but... I sure love to know. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I need a, um, you know what? I'm going to change the camera so that way you can see better, okay? All right. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, sunshine. Let me try to put one of my barn quilts up in the window and see if I can block that. Hey, I think that worked. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Let me know that's too dark and I'll turn on the, the cottage lights. But... Now, just with that, um, I like the metallic turquoise after all there. Go figure. And don't worry, I'll post the final picture. And in my graph book, I'm going to have to write what the colors were in here. So we know. Carol, if you're still listening, you know what? I could do totally a Facebook ad on like for the Hilton Head Jimmy Buffett neighborhood and say, get your trip around the sun barn quilt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we need a parrot. We need a parrot head for the Jimmy Buffett people. Oh my goodness sakes. An owl. Guess what? You're going to be excited. I, it says Facebook users. I, I don't know who said that, but it, you have to tell me who that is. Melissa, you love it. Carol, horse. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to show you the horse. You're going to like love it. I've got actually I love horses, so I did two horses. I might have done two owls, too. My mom loves owls. So 
Did, oh, speaking of owls, I was um, working a Christmas function a couple of years ago, and these uh, girls in middle school, they kept coming to my booth, and I kept giving them like free little gifts and making them ornaments for their moms and stuff, and said, go ahead and give that to them for Christmas or whatever. And the little girl <laughs> said, you're so sweet. You're like, you're like the wise you're like the wise old owl woman. And I was like, wow, I'm the wise old woman. <laughs> so, I'm in my, but you know, we don't, you know, we think like when we're in middle school that forties is old. Isn't that funny? Look how 3d that looks. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is awesome. Okay. So Stay with me because I wanted to, because I want, I seriously want your advice on these. So these came and um, I've got a pack full of different designs. Here they are. And I was going to, I'm planning on sending them to my barn quilt women. So yeah, for those, so Melissa, you know what's coming, girlfriend. All right. So. Anyways, these are awesome. So what I was thinking is sending. Oh, I so love that. Look at that. So tell me, do you like it with the wood in the middle or do you want me to paint it? Here's another one. Oh, and that's fine because we could actually paint and then put that over. Let's see what other one we got. What other designs do we have tonight? Do, 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 do. Ooh, that one's cool, because then I could put, like, even a rhinestone on top of that one. That almost looks like little rays. I only have, like, five of those. Let's see. I can't wait to order some of these colored ones. I only have like five of them, but sometimes I have to like, I'll just order like a sample of something before I buy like a hundred of them. You know what I'm saying? And then they just don't get used. But anyways, one of the other things, I love the little hearts in the middle, but that one doesn't go. All right. So the question is, do I want to keep that raw and do a wood thing in the middle? Okay, well, we'll just noodle on that while I'm figuring out what color do we want against that green and gray, this in the navy. I mean, orange is such a cool color, but I almost think that that would be too, it might be too much. We could use a 24 karat gold like we do on the Hope and Prayer for America. Hmm. Let me think. Or we could do a brighter yellow if we wanted to do that as well. Okay, so what? Let's try gold. And I don't want to mess up the. I don't want to mess up the vibe of this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love, but you know, it just feels so like, I just want to hug it. You like the one that's on there now? Yeah, me too. I need to, I need to count out how many I've got. Oh my goodness sakes. I think I only got one, two, three, four, five. But I'm going to see what I got. Don't worry, girlies. Those of you are in the club, I can I can get them probably before Mother's Day, so you can always keep it empty and then add. Do you think that orange, that yellow, is too bright against the Naples, or do you want me just to try it with my finger and let's see? I don't know if I like, I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if I like, there goes the sun again. You know what? We're going to change the camera. Here we go. Thank, 
Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have two cameras. Amen. Okay, so that's the bright yellow there. All right, just my intuition. I'm going to pull out this. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this might be a little too much. And people have, I don't know, and it may not be y'all, but People either love or hate purple. So I'm, sometimes I'm always, you know, trying to like be like, should I include purple or. So there's the orange and I'm going to turn on this other light. So there's the orange and that's actually pretty. There's the lights on for the studio. Oh, and I think my girls in the club are going to like it. I found out five more of these flower ones. So at least I've got 10 of them in my hand. So that's good. Okay. So there is the orange. Or... I don't know why sometimes it's the... Oh my gosh, the gold is flipping beautiful. Okay. Well, of course it's beautiful. It's called Glorious Gold. Hello. All right. So let me take off this orange. Now you know why my nails and everything. Yes, I could use my baby wipes, but do I? I'm always playing. It's like I'm playing in the dirt. There's my little, my little tallet. And I do not mean for that color to look that way, but I promise I will give you another picture of it. It's only because the sunset's coming in and it's hitting those yellows. All right. This gold, I think, will be really, really, really pretty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... This in gold, and I might even do the frame part in gold. So this is Deco Art Glorious Gold, and I love it. I love. Oh, it is so pretty. It's like chocolate, <laughs> where you're like, I want some chocolate. Oh my goodness, I've been going sugar free, and today I had. My mom tempted me so bad. She was like, because um, I had my chiropractic appointment in near where she lives. And I called her after that and I said, do you want to meet for lunch? I said, I know you probably already ate breakfast, you know, but if you want to come and sit with me. She was, oh, I love to, right? And then she was like, you really need to go back to the house. I made a homemade chocolate cake and oh, it's so good, Patricia. Are you sure you're going to be without sugar today? I, I really think you'd love it. Now, you know, my mom lost her dad. I mean, my mom lost my dad um, a year and a half ago, right? So my dad's not there to. So, I yeah, I went and had the chocolate cake with her. And boy, when she cut that cake for me, she was so happy. Isn't it good? So my real name's Patricia. So sometimes she'll say, isn't that good, Patricia? So anyways. <laughs> so having that big old slice of chocolate cake. Yeah. Could I have a skinny slice? Yes. Did I? No. You know, what's really funny, though, is like you look at pictures from me in October and my face is so much thinner than what it is right now. I have been on either four or five um, treatments of steroids plus um, steroid shot, 
would cream be lost? You know, I don't think so. I think cream would be okay. And I might actually introduce it behind here in case. Um, but boy, I tell you that the gold looks pretty cool. I don't know why I'm so thirsty all of a sudden. My goodness. Speaking of thirsty, I bought, um, I'll have to give you the link and take the picture. Okay. I bought this huge, um, water bottle that has like motivational sayings on it to force me to drink more water so because my doctor's like because i'm not really that up that much in weight but it's all settled in my face kind of like that m moon puffy face from steroids do you remember when ashley judd got like criticized for her weight um a few years ago and then she finally you know and she came out about it and then she told everybody, hey, I was really, really sick. I was on steroids and stuff. But it was really sad how people attacked her, you know. Um, when I watch myself back on video, I'm like, oh, my goodness, look at my face. But I would rather get back to being healthy. And if the steroids is what I need, then that's what we'll do, right? That gold is so, I, I know, I sound like a broken record. Carol, you know what would be cool is if we did possibly the colors in the background here and we did some of this applique in the cream. And what would be cool is actually I could put like a little like a little piece of wood slice I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say here. Just ignore this word love. I mean, that's so cute. Yes. We'll use it for something else, but what I could do is have like a little piece of wood shim. I, I don't know if I'm using the right verbiage, but then layer the, the applique on top of it and it would give it more of a pop, like a 3d. So like when we pull it up, watch. See that? Almost like a clock. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Kurt's going to main bank in little squares. I'm probably going to have to drop a little square with the applique in the, in the quilt thing. By the way, some of my mailings are going out this week because I had to wait for the wood shipment to come in. This is like the first time I've had to wait this long. But they say like the housing market is just getting crazy. And did you know that wood has gone up 150% in price? 150%. I'm like, so when I heard that, I like whipped out. I was like, oh my goodness, can I keep my um, barn quilt costs down? But I am determined for this year for my members to keep the cost down. That's my, because... I know how art has helped me so much. In fact, with that, my mom called me. She was like, I think I need to stop. She says, well, first of all, at lunch, she says, Trisha, I think I've gotten addicted to coloring. <laughs> she goes, is that normal? I'll sit down. I start to work on it. Then I go and do something else. And then something hits me. And I'm like, I got to go back. And this is my mom who like paints and does crochet and all that kind of stuff. But I've given her um, a lot of my pages that I've created to do like decoupage and mixed media and all that. And maybe it's the inspirational messages and stuff. I don't know. Here's what's crazy is like the Naples yellow is so pretty. It's almost like I want to do a trim in gold. A part of me almost wants to cover this whole Naples yellow in gold. But I know y'all would be like, Say what? But I think I'm going to go around the edge in this gold. In Proverbs, I wrote one of the quotes that's going to go in my coloring book that wisdom is more precious than rubies. Um, 
And I don't, I get, even though this is gold and rubies, it just kind of made me think about treasures. You know, when we're, when we can find peace in all the directions in our life that are moving at different paces, but we can find that peace, it is like gold. It's like a priceless feeling. It's, it's, it's like a supernatural treasure, really. Do you know what I mean? I mean, have you ever had like a situation where something really difficult has gone on and this wave, this feeling of peace is just like almost like blankets you, like covers you? I really believe that that is definitely... Maybe God's angels at work. I was thinking about that um, in the conversation with my mom today. I was talking to her about Proverbs because, you know, some people or some ministers or whatever will say, you know, God knows the number of hairs on your head. And like they know he knows when you're born and he knows when you die. Right. And so they're very firm on, oh, he already knows exactly when you're going to go. But then I was reading these scriptures and it was saying like the wisdom that you have will prolong your life. And I'm like, okay, well, it, and it mentioned in not one scripture several times about how your life could be prolonged. Your days of life would be prolonged by practicing, you know, the wisdom and your relationship with God. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's the case, then does that come into free will and all that? So I know I'm probably babbling to you, but I, I mean, it, it's just interesting to kind of think about, you know, so I kind of like this and I seriously, you're going to be like, are you kidding me, Tricia? You did Naples yellow and you said it was so pretty. I'm just loving this gold. But what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it up at the main house when we have better lighting. And you can tell me what you think. That's why I also have like um, mandala uh, dot things because I you can do like little dots or embellishments. So I'm going to go here and go ahead and bring this I'm going to go ahead and bring this Naples yellow into even though I'm going to put a piece of wood most likely over this I'm going to go ahead and do um, a like cross pattern of a star so that way you can see what I'm going to do here. So what I'm going to do is go to this triangle. Okay. And then I'm going to go just like a pizza pie, go straight across into this with this Naples yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull in all the colors that I've used into this center. So if you're ever wondering, like, how, how do I kind of pull the center together, Tricia, to kind of give it a concise feeling? That's always a good formula to follow for yourself. So... So I want to think about where... So since the greens are on this side, I'm purposely going to put the blue here. That way it's not too much on that one angle. There we go.
Oh, wow. Now I'm falling in love with it without the wood on it, too. <laughs> but that's the cool thing is what different things we can do. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit back of this dew green because I had mixed it. So now where this blue is, I'm going to bring the green up here and here. So while you're all watching, and I know I'm dating this video because it might not be forever. Right now, I have free shipping going on. My shoulder was bothering me and I had to manually go in and do free shipping. And um, I just could not go through all of those items line by line, holding my phone with my shoulder. So free shipping is still active, which, you know, like one of the big barn quilts, you know, it could charge $19 in shipping. So I'm paying for all of that. So in case you want something, um, you can get it. <laughs> I wish my color was a little bit better so you could see it. Let's see. I'm going to put this straight on. Oh, let me change the camera. <laughs> I was like, why can you not see that? Here we go. Hi. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, here we go. Can you see that a little bit better now? So I think what I'll do is I'll bring that navy in right there. I think that'll look really good. I wasn't planning on staying on as long as I am, but you know what? I might as well have it recorded and have it as a whole class. I won't keep it up here on the internet forever. I'll turn it into a workshop. Um, so I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and do the navy there. One thing I learned is um, one of my mentors, and they would teach classes, you know, we paid for our classes and stuff, right? But they would also give free classes. But what they would say is, you know, we're going to give the free classes and it's the link for you to learn it is going to stay up for 48 hours. And then after 48 hours, it's going to go dark. And that means that, you know, you can purchase the class. And they had them, the classes, the future classes for an expensive, like $8 or something like that. But they were building their library. And that was really smart because, you know, if you have your stuff out there forever, sometimes people don't value it. Isn't that the truth? There's that saying, you don't know what you got till it's gone, right? But it also keeps it fair, too, because I have people who do take classes with me and things. And I want to make sure that it's fair. So I don't like that navy in the middle. Just straight up don't like it. It does not fit. Um, but what I'm going to do is not touch it. I'm going to let it dry. So if you ever feel like, wow, I'm making a mistake, um, let me, you know, wipe it away right away. Let it dry because you're going to be able to easily paint over it. It's just too harsh. Just does not feel right. Um, I'm going to be putting an applique over top of it anyways. So there we go. So since I know I'm going to be putting a piece of wood applique over the top of it, I'm going to do this outside circle in that turquoise that we were talking about. So I'm not going to get that metallic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this aqua. It's a little bit of a different turquoise. 
Mm -hmm. um, this is Craft Smart from Michaels. Okay. So just telling you the colors so that way you got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this whole area here in this color. And wow, just absolutely stunning. Look at how stunning that is. Now, if I wasn't putting something over the middle of this, I might be might have broken up the colors, but I am going to put that design wood piece over top intentionally. So this will be just an accent off of the art. I'm bummed that that navy didn't work in there, but you know what? You never know until you try and work, you know, and work it. At least we know we can paint over it. No big deal. I just got to figure out what I want to put in that. And it's going to get covered up anyway, so maybe I'm just being, you know, too particular anyways, but. I'm curious to know, too, if you would like me to have these wood round discs for sale um, for your quilts, like individually. Because if you do, I'll put them in the, um, the art supply section. And I also have, like, um, some other things. So I've been thinking about beefing up the craft section so that way you can get what I use. You know what I mean? Because like these, they are so hard to find. I mean, it, well, I mean, I can make these, but if I had Kurt make these, he would probably be like, please. And I, I mean, I could make them on my Cricut Maker too. But right now, I have a supplier where I can get them and just kind of takes that task list off my plate. You know what I'm saying? So that turquoise is a little bit darker than what I put in the back. Do you like this background still? I'm just going to turn it and face me and see. See, that navy is just driving me absolutely insane crazy. So that means that Trish is going to get the glue gun and we're going to put that applique down because I can't stand it. If I don't fix that sucker, it's going to drive me nuts. Yes, it is. So we're going to glue gun that baby. We're going to glue gun it. Oh, yeah. Charlie's Angels with their glue gun. <laughs> Going to glue gun this baby. Look. I'm Charlie's Angels girl with her glue gun. Dun, dun, dun. I never played Charlie's Angels. But, oh, maybe I did. I totally played Wonder Woman. I would start at the top of the hill and then roll myself down. And at the end where I rolled down, I would automatically turn into Wonder Woman and go, ta-da. So anyways, had to tell you that while things were warming up. <laughs> All right, let's go back down to this little baby here. Because there is no reason for me to paint over that right there. 
when I know that I'm going to cover this. Now, probably if I were your good teacher, I would be telling you to paint this first and then put it down. But since we're live and I'm impatient, I'm not going to take my own advice. Ha, ha, ha. All right, come on, warm up, baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. And I do want to have to have a little shim over it. But if I wanted to put a little toothpick. I wonder if I can cut this. I have a glass. I have a cutter. I was thinking I might put a little piece of wood under this. Let me see if I can. It's a popsicle stick. I don't know if I can. Yes, sir, Bubby. Look at that. I feel like a. I feel like a tomboy right now. So I'm going to actually put that down and then we're going to put that on top of it. So that way it like is floating. Oh, yeah, baby. Now I'm ex so excited and I just can't hide it. Come on, warm up, Mr. Glue Gun. There we go. I'm going to drop it down. This is going to be so cool. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. What is with it with a glue gun? Must be a happy pill or something. Note to self, do not use bad shoulder when using glue gun. <laughs> okay, come on now. And we are placing... Oh my gosh. Okay, let me unplug my glue gun. So, because I don't need her anymore. Or Mr. Glue Gun or whatever I wanted to name him. Good job. I unplugged my Cricut Maker instead. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, look that. Look at that. How that's floating. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, it's the little things in life, isn't it? I am going to totally use my gel pens on this little sucker right here. See, and now the navy looks totally okay underneath because it gives it dimension. Who would have thunk? I know, I'm not saying it the right way. Who would have thunk it? And I tried the gold around the outside. Not sure I'm loving that. So I may go back to the Naples yellow. And then I'm going to really switch it up later after this dries. And I'm going to use pencil shading to make this like an old fashioned or a farmhouse feeling frame. Not an old fashioned frame, a farmhouse style. It's going to look white and brown distressed. Yes. Anyways. I'm going to take this up to the house and show Kurt. So on that note, let me look at you guys. Let me look at you guys. So you have to totally tell me if you liked this video. Did you like the whole thing from start to scratch? We're like, I picked out the colors. And you were able to watch. And I'm doing these a little bit more extensively while Barn Quilt Club doors are open. Because once they close, then I don't do these classes, just do them. Because it's not fair to the members or you have to pay or whatever. But I wanted to show you kind of how I come up with these creative things. And you can enjoy it. Oh, my gosh. And I am going to be doing a barn quilt paint party up here in um, Claremont area. I found a place for us where we can have our own private room 
and have lunch and paint. They're allowing me to have the room as long as we all order like a box lunch, which ends up being like $8.99 with tip, which would be like 10 bucks. How cool is that? So let me know if you're like wanting to come to that and I'll get the, I'll get the scoop out on that. All right. Um, Carol, I'm glad you love the video and, um, I'm glad that we've become friends on Facebook. It's awesome. And, um, Melissa, welcome to the Barn Quilt Club. So blessed to, uh, have you a part of it and, um, and on this journey with you. So anyways, y'all have a blessed night and I'll go ice my shoulder and rest up. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.